So after I did my video about how many minis you can print off with one kilogram of resin, a lot of people were quite curious about how much wastage comes with that as well. Obviously, I didn't have the answer. Today, I'm going to give you a very non-scientific answer about how much waste comes with all the different supports that come off your models. Now, just a quick disclosure about this before people come at me in the comments about, oh, you know what, there's loads of other things to consider. You're right, there are a lot of things that I can't measure with this. I have literally just printed off all the models and kept over all the yummy, yummy, tasty supports here. And we're gonna weigh them and see how much is kind of, I guess, left over and wasted. There's obviously other things to consider, like how much resin gets kind of washed off of it and stuff like that, and how much kind of ends up in tissues in the IPA. And then you've got the IPA wasted. So it's not gonna be like a cost and how much cost you're losing out on. It's literally just how much is left over by the supports. And that will give us, I guess, a rough idea of the weight of how much you kind of have wasted. The other thing because as well, it's not really wasted resin because without the supports, you just, you're not gonna get those miniatures full stop. So you know what? It's a good thing that you have these. And for me, I am lazy. So just to put it into perspective, I literally just print off all the pre-supported models. I don't go in and mess about with supports myself just because A, I'm not very good at it, but I'm also lazy and I just want pretty fast results that I know I can pretty much most of the time rely on. So let's get the, uh, the little scale here. Make sure it's set to zero. I'm really interested to see actually how much this is. So I was using the Elegoo ABS Lite Resin. It was a one kilogram tub. And if you want to go back and watch one of my other videos, I'll have a link down in the description below. Basically, that kind of gives you an idea of how many minis you can print. And I think it was about 70 off the top of my head. This is a pretty big bag of leftover things. So I printed off some relatively large stuff with this and a lot of the smaller minis as well. So set to zero. Yeah, so 282 grams of leftover supports that have come from that. Obviously they might be soaked a little bit in IPA as well, so there is maybe a little bit of extra weight there and the bag will also, you know, before anyone calls me out for that, the bag will also add a tiny bit of weight, but not much. So that's quite a lot really. If you think about it, if I'm printing off using kilogram of resin and I'm losing 282 grams of it, that's pretty much a quarter of my resin gone straight away, which is ultimately stuff that is wasted and going off into the bin once it's all been cured and dealt with. And obviously make sure you do treat these properly. You don't just kind of fling them out, dispose of them correctly. So yeah, a decent amount that is lost. Like I said, it's hard to get around. You can't really do much about it unless you're printing off very flat objects and stuff like that. There's always gonna be waste when it comes with this. But a lot of people asked me the question and I was curious myself once people started asking me. So there it is, about 282 grams of resin that goes into these supports that are then left over. Now, let me know in the comments, is there anything that you want me to see Try and do with these. I kind of had the idea of maybe making a small ruined like town or something like that. They kind of almost look like girders, uh, scaffolding and all of that. Some of these also, they are cured by the way. So if you see me touching them, don't worry. I'm not going to like poison myself or anything. But I've got some that are quite interesting. They almost look like branches and trees and they could be quite fun to maybe have a play around with and see if I can build something out of these kind of resin supports and just... I guess see what I can do. If you have any ideas or anything you want me to try with this, or if you are even interested in me doing that, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know, are you surprised by how much ultimately this big bag of kind of leftover resin, you know, weighs? Because it is quite a substantial amount, I guess, when you are paying as much as you are for the resin. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope it's answered some of those questions that came up from that last video. And yeah, hit that like and subscribe button. Come along for some more awesome content. And if you've got any ideas you want me to do with this, or just anything in general, throw it down below and I'll do my best to put that into action. See you soon, take care.